I'm Kevin Champney, and you're watching People of MDOT. We have to model every bridge in the state, and we have to make sure that it's up to the specifications and can carry certain loads. And then if a bridge is damaged or an inspection report finds some problems, we can change the model and make sure if it needs to be posted or closed down. Well, the first thing we do is we'll go in and model it as it's in the plans. And then as if a inspection report indicates a problem, we can go in there, change that model to reflect the problems that we're having, if there's corrosion or cracking, and then we can model it with the damage or problems and see if it still needs to be posted or if it's still fully functional. We have to enter in all the bridges, so some of them are built back in the 50s and 60s, and they are very different than the way we do it now. <laughs> so trying to figure out how to model it and how to put it in the program has been fun. The safety of the public is our first priority. All the bridges are inspected every 24 months, or if they need to be inspected even more frequently than that, they'll be inspected. All right, I'll run those numbers. All right. I think the favorite part of it is, it's kind of an opportunity to kind of see what happens to a bridge if you start changing different characteristics of the bridge. You can kind of see how it starts behaving differently than the way it wood in the plans. So you kind of have to use some engineering judgment and experience to figure out the best way to model it. We're going to make sure all the bridges are safe. We have school buses going across and just we have motorists going across and emergency vehicles. And our first part is to make sure everybody gets where they want to go safely. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for new exciting content in the next episode of People of MDOT.